All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Defender's Quest, Valley of the Forgotten. So we need, we gotta go fast. I have like nine games I'm, I'm concurrently running series for, and I don't have enough time for all of them. So let's see if we can beat this one in a matter of, I don't know, 40 episodes. I don't know how long this game is. Anyway, hey guys, I think I figured out why there aren't, there, why there weren't any Revenant in the city. They were all waiting for us here. There must be thousands of them. Yeah. I never expected to die like this, but I always wanted to! Blood! Well, not a whole lot else to do. Nice knowing you. Mortal! I suppose our agreement isn't looking like such a great deal anymore. I want to teach you something. What? In all our history, no mortal has ever been given this knowledge. But I believe this is the proper time. As we learned a new spell, Dragonfire deals 300 damage to all enemies on the screen and sets them on fire for 11 seconds. Alrighty then. So how many enemies are we looking at here? Lots. Damn. Alright. Uh, so we've got a lot of dudes. Where can I place my? Where can I place my people? Where are they even coming from? Like, what's the roots here? Okay, so I can place them here. Um, we got blue guys coming from blue. They're probably gonna go... I have no idea. Um... <laughs> hmm. I don't see anybody with particularly high amounts of armor. It looks like they're gonna be coming down these directions. Now, the one thing I can do... Oh shit, there's shadow types too. The one thing I could, do, I could do is just line this entire setup here, but I think that's a stupid idea, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I mean, realistically, there's not a whole lot of river-related units. I don't see a whole lot of armor-related units either, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop him down there, pop her there, pop him there. Rinse, repeat on this side. I think. Seems like the most reasonable response here. Uh, not really sure where my extra berserkers belong. Not sure where my archers should go either. The one issue is... Um, yeah, that's a fine placement. The issue is, we need my archers to be able to hit them after the priest has gotten his hands on them. The other issue is, we need to accurately plan on the river group. Okay, so I think that's good. Let's give boosts to everyone involved. Let's make sure these guys have ether flash. Uh... I'll boost them last. We need our archers to have range here. Okay, I'm glad I've been putting range boosts on everybody. It's helping. Okay, let's try this. So, we've got Shadow Worms. Not many of them, but enough to be a problem. We've only got a couple of river types, and I'm hoping my archers can deal with them. I think we'll be okay. We're not taking too much damage here. Let's give her the next boost, give her a bit of defense. Though we should probably start buying armor for these guys. Because I've been uh, a little bit neglectful in terms of that. So somebody was asking what healers do. Uh, they heal. Like, they're they're straight up healer healers, as you would expect. Uh, don't really have much of a description beyond that. Uh, they heal your guys back up to full, presumably. Uh, it doesn't... Like, for the most part, I haven't been worrying about them too much, just because... Oops, wrong guy. Uh, I haven't been using them that much just because I haven't needed to. Um, my units have been largely defensible here, and I've, I haven't had to worry about them. Okay, so let's save up a bit. Got a bunch of cultists coming in, and we need a little bit more juice for this. Okay, there we go. Frenzy. Got a bit of a long cooldown, but I think we're fine. 
Oh, hey. That actually worked out in my favor. So I think this is fine. Let's see. Give him the boost. Give him another boost. Consider giving her a boost next. And we'll have Enrage done shortly. Let's do a pushback. And let's do a Frenzy. I don't want those cultists getting by. Okay, there we go. Got that. Should be good. Okay. Looks like we're fine. We've got a couple more big bads coming, but the big bads ain't so scary. Uh, let's give him... I might as well go up to Holy Light, even though it's not super helpful. It's probably advantageous given my situation. Actually, you know what? Let's give Ayimi a boost. Maybe? Yeah. Because we've pretty much only got one archer covering this side. And we got some guys coming in. We got two over here. Bit of an awkward level design, if you ask me. Actually, time for a boost. And time for a fireball. And time for a pushback. Okay. Yeah, these guys were stacking up a little bit too hard for me there. Didn't want to deal with it. Okay. Not much I can do there. Luckily, we had a frenzy. If we're lucky, we'll have another frenzy shortly. We do. Alright, so let's do the frenzy. Let's get him up. Get him holy light. Okay, there we go. And now it's just the most basic types. Oh, and there's water guys coming from both directions. Well, this is hardly a concern. Yeah, I wasn't sure how the water guys were going to come at me. But it looks like it worked out in the grand scheme of things. Well, that's good. Okay, so levels for everybody. Uh... You know, I, I should honestly consider getting, uh, like, throwing uh, guys like Don Quixote, or Don Quixote, and Salmon on. As well as uh, Dude and Smug, come to think of it. Uh, I've mostly been not doing that. I'm not going to say out of laziness, but they don't hit multiple targets. But they would actually be really good against... Uh, ooh, what's this? Ah, who cares about evasion? Uh, they would actually be pretty dang good against uh, certain groups of enemies along the way. Uh, we're getting close. Might not be a bad idea to go back and do a little bit of grinding, probably just two-star stuff along the way. Um, at some point, just because, you know, these are getting a little bit harder. So, I will say Dragonfire is pretty dang good. I think Frenzy's better, though. Because the, the more, the longer I can get Frenzy to go, the more, uh, death my, my units can deal, I guess. I don't know. My units do a lot more damage than any spell I could sit up do. Anyway, I don't believe it. That we lived? Well, that too. But there's nothing around us. Not a single revenant. We aren't being followed by anyone. Alrighty then. Oh, hi. What? Uh, that's scary looking. Mysterious foe attacks. Uh, okay. Ye gods, I never thought it would happen. We are actually at the exit. I'm on my way out of this hellhole. Azra, there are more of them. Ah, this is the one called Azra. Ah, uh, this one called Azra is most fortunate indeed. Very few. Are they who see Eskli Tenok reach out his glorious right hand and take what is his? Behold, death. Alright, so there's something horrifying. Yo, what the hell? Eskli's hand. Uh, it's coming from the green box. Alright. Um. Question. Immune to. Blind, not... Oh, fuck me. Slow as hell. I mean to... Stun, freeze, devour, knockback. But not slow, I believe. So we can still... We can still slow him down. Okay, put her there. It'll just be within range. Um, 
I think my plan is... Oops. Uh, cover Azra in these. We only want single damage dealers here. I love my Berserkers, and they do a fair amount of damage, but they're group targets. My dragons, though. My dragons. Okay, uh, what else is there? Not much, honestly. I might I might be able to knock him back once I take out his uh his group. Uh let's throw just for good measure, I don't know how dangerous he is. I'm gonna throw one of these there. Okay, now we need to consider the fact that we're going to be beset by other sides too. <sighs> so we got blue coming in, we got yellow coming in. They're gonna be coming in here. Um none of this is good. <laughs> Oh, boy. I mean, we got this group, but I should really worry about others. So, what it could potentially do is stage, like, a kind of a defense setup right here. Because her range is going to go up. Along the way. Not a bad idea. I mean, it's a lot of really basic unit types past this group. So let's try that. Let's put her there. Let's put her... Right there. We're gonna do slack. We're gonna do... No stabbing. Ject. And... I'm just gonna have him at the end. Uh, who else do we have? Almost nobody. Which is, I think, kind of the most problematic part of much of this. Well, whatever. Okay, so now how are we going to do this? Um, probably didn't need to do that. Um, attempt to, actually, really, what I should do is boost these guys. Go for the cheap ones that are going to be kind of the crux of my defense. Okay. Then next. Might as well speed it up. There's no management I need to do here. Behold! Death! Is that a giant hand? Are there other unusually sized body parts fixing to burst out of the ground? Die now! Wow, that thing is slow. Okay, so maybe this is less of a concern than as I, as I thought it was going to be. Mainly... I can't do dick all to it for a while. We'll be able to start shooting it with some things. Okay, well, let's start doing this. Once, Revy, you came back. Come over here so I can kill you. Okay. So what we want to do is probably boost my archers. Specifically her. I didn't realize, but I can get her to freeze this, these guys as they come by. Okay, that's useful. Okay, so we can start taking this sucker's armor off. It's gonna take a while, but we'll, it'll do. Okay. As they get a little bit more in range, we'll start considering some other things. I need more archers. Oh, uh, yeah, let's get him a boost at the very least. Uh, let's get her, I think, a boost. Oh, shit, cultist. Okay. Need Psy. Balls. That is a straight-up cultist in a very bad place. I need a lot more Psy than I have. We're fucked. Okay, a couple of things. Mainly, defense was fine-ish. Wow, we did not get a whole lot of useful stuff from that. Let's go back. Like I said, I need to go get some two-star things anyway. Let's go get some two-star stuff. Uh, you know what? While we're at it, let's go to town. It doesn't really matter which town we go to. Let's recruit rangers. Uh, I want five. Five rangers, probably. 
Uh, Dev D. A little eye blinding, but I'll take Dev D. And I, I can always change her if I dislike her style. I just want characters that stand out from each other. If I can do so. Oh, there's another one. And... Some of these names are insane. Alright, Sana it is. Okay, there we go. Five archers. And... Let's stop with that. Let's leave. I don't think I have any more plot-related classes here. This game would be nightmarish in hero mode. Anyway, let's go swing back, get them a couple of bows. Um, I, I truly am going to say archers are the baseline of my defense. More so than anything else. And... I need to cater to them pretty hard. Just because range. Okay, so this time around, let's go back, let's do this one. Yeah, because we definitely need experience. Luckily, this means I don't have to voice act anything, uh, which will help a lot. Okay, so let's do advance, 16 to 20. I might be able to do 22 to 30. Um, yeah, let's try it. Let's see if we can four-star some things. Uh, if that's the case, we should probably go back to the beginning and start four-starring things. Anyway, um, all of our enemies are going to be converging on this one point. Uh, they're going to be going by this lineup here. So let's do this. One, two, three. Um, let me see. One, two, three. Seems reasonable. What's the deal with these? Death worms. Not really a whole lot of explanation on that. Okay, well that's fine. Uh, let's point some archers at all of this. One, two, three, four. I forgot to level some of these guys up. Whoops. Well, that's fine. Five. Okay. Now let's get them all up. I mean... Uh, we'll be okay. I'll just not upgrade... I'll just not upgrade the new archers yet. Oh yeah, we got spread shot and stuff. So, yeah. Only upgrade the ones that actually... can benefit from this. Okay, there we go. And we'll give him a boost. Okay, this should be fine. Yeah, I don't see any enemy types that we really have to worry about here. Those death worms are tough bastards, though. Luckily, there's only a couple of them. Okay. So let's do boost... Let's do boost. Let's do boost. Okay, everybody's up to T2. Archers should be able to hold their own pretty well. Um, let's give him up to flurry. I'd like to get him up to swipe, but let's get everybody up to flurry if I can. Got to spread it around just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Let's give her a boost. Might as well get her sleet. Might actually need a healer here. These death worms are jerks. Yeah, it looks like... Okay. Looks like we can get... Um, or we shouldn't have any trouble four-starring a lot of these things. Let's get her spread shot. With her massive range, too. She can just spit arrows at everybody. It's actually pretty nice. Okay, let's get him swipe. Let me see. Nobody else really benefits from uh, levels right now. Well, that's nice. So this means let's just go back and let's uh, four-star everything, especially because it's great experience. Okay, so let's get him swipe. Let's get Dev D. Let's see. Do we want... Okay, so I'm going to put one into all of those and then the rest into range. This way we've got a small chance of uh, these... And that'll, that'll help specifically against the tougher units. Because uh, I've, I've been purposefully avoiding those just because it's mostly been trash mobs across the board. But a little bit of extra DPS could be useful here. Armor pierce or, nope, spread shot. We'll start getting the other perks as we go. Zeal. What's zeal do? Heal and attack. Oh, it increases everybody's damage in an area. Yeah, so uh, at level 15, the healers start being really good. And... Actually, um, let's reset points. Uh, 
Let's start getting, um... Actually, I have no idea. Special heal and attack. Yeah, so I, th I think this increases all of my, um... All of my allies' damage. I think? I want to know. Yeah. Let's keep on Ether Flash. In retrospect. Because if I, if I don't, then uh, the... the Invisible enemies go back to being intangible again. And that's a pain in the ass that I don't want to deal with. Ice Splash. Foe can't move for two seconds. Cancelled by burn. Nice. Note to self, don't put uh, my character next to dragons. Sadly, it's a long cooldown. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Nothing he can really do there. Might as well do armor training so he can get sword training on the next level. Same deal with him. Okay, and nobody else needs a level. Yes. That's 40 skill points. I guess we got no people. And, right, we actually get uh, new staves and stuff, though I'm not entirely sure if they're going to be as uh, useful as I'd like them to be. Sadly, it's a staff, right? So we want to give it maybe to Bacall. Yeah. If it had a special ability attached to it, I'd be down, but nope, it's useless. You might be able to upgrade them for New Game Plus and they actually become useful. But I have no idea. Anyway, let's go back and let's do Extreme on this one. Uh, let's see like the worst hangnail ever. Normally I cut the recording for these, but it's not a big deal. We should probably pause though. So, we've got armored guys coming from every direction. That's kind of a pain in the ass. Because I've only got a couple of, um... <sighs> Alright, let's, uh, let's quit battle. Let's go back to... I guess we gotta go all the way down here. As loath as I am to just wait for the character to move. We need to hire one more, um, armor breaker. How much money do I have? Plenty. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a name. Uh, so Dank. I don't know what colors I should give Dank. I feel like Dank should be really weird looking. Maybe. We've already got Salmon though, it's pretty hard to compete with Salmon. What can we do? I... Uh, green pants, red hair, yellow armor, black as can be. Alright, there we go. We got Dank. We got Dank the Knight. And we should probably go level him up. Uh, we should actually probably go get him proper equipment, come to think of it. So let's swing over there, get him a sword. Okay. Reminds me, we Salmon's probably using an outdated weapon too. Ah, eh, it's not that outdated. Okay, there we go. So now Dank can more or less handle everything. And this way we'll have several armor breakers here. Okay. So let's do that. Sadly, he's only level 10. Sucks a bit. He'll catch up. Or not, I'm not sure. Anyway. Yeah, so let's go back. Let's do, let's do a bunch of the four-star ones. We want to catch up in experience just a little bit. Because that last one was rough. I'm sure I can, like, redo my party in some way. Um, to be fine. But I should probably also get another Frost Mage here, come to think of it. Well, that's something for later. We're gonna do Frost Mage, Salmon. Okay. And lastly, we want. This is just awkward. I guess this works because it doesn't. It doesn't really matter too much here. Okay, there we go. It doesn't look like we got any shadow groups. So let's just toss my archers down where they're the most helpful. Which is more or less along the center line. Let's toss her down here. Okay, and boost, boost, and... Let's just go all the way with her because madness. 
And why not? Okay. We should be fine. So let's toss this up speed-wise. In retrospect, we should probably... Boost my, um... Boost my knights. I'm not entirely sure which is the armor break one, but getting all of those is probably a sensible plan. Okay, there we go. We got that taken care of. Now let's go back to our archers. Okay. That'll help. Probably should have put points into my berserkers, but I think we'll be fine. Let's do a frenzy. These guys are getting a little pushy for me. And these top and bottom sections are a little bit on the, um... Oh shoot, I forgot they are going to be aquatic-based guys. Well, whatever. I don't think we have much to worry about. Again, that archer line is just too useful not to comment on, or, you know, keep up with. Oh really, there were... No, no, those guys are probably just frozen. I was confused for a second. Yeah, we got this. Okay. Might as well boost her up so she's got sleet. Oh, shit! They killed one of my... They killed my ice mage. I didn't even realize, but they just straight up killed her. Note to self, pay more attention. Those red guys, once we get up in levels, actually a problem. Alright, so he gets swipe. Uh, she can't get anything. We want piercing shot. Because armor piercing would be amazing. Um, but she's only a level 12. So let's keep doing that. Zamina. I want piercing shot, but again, spread shot's probably a little bit better. Oh, targets one foe. Hits them five times. Damn. That's good. Okay. I should really look up uh, what zeal does. Because I actually could look that up, couldn't I? There's probably plenty of information out there for this game. Okay, so which one? Hard knock to smash. Oh, that's knockback to smash. Where's armor break to all attacks? Oh, useful. Okay. So yeah, the the more of these we get, the um, more armor break that's applied. Okay, well, I'll keep going down that line for the time being. And yes. Actually, uh, it's probably completely useless to me, sadly. Because as we go back, I'm assuming the Relic of the North, yeah, it is worthless. As we go down the line, all the unique items we get here, unless there's a way of upgrading them, uh, they're just going to sit in my inventory as kind of pointless things. I don't know. One way or another, though, I will see you guys in the next episode of Defender's Quest, Valley of the Forgotten. And as always, thanks for watching.